Yo, what's up, baby? Boy, positive flow this morning, man. It's about 7.18 a.m. <laughs> Gotta get out, man. I've been relaxed for about 10 to 12 days. Ain't really done nothing. Uh, been raining. But, uh, you know, when you don't have any bills and no debt, you know, and you got a job, along with the business, you kind of sleep real good at night. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I be trying to teach people, man. Learn to sleep good at night. Don't try to keep up with the Joneses. Watch out there now. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> yeah, man, but my subject today, man, don't be scared to start, man. You know, that's just like exercising. The worst thing, the hardest thing about exercises when you're overweight or you ain't been exercising in a while is to start. That is 95% of the battle, to start. When I first started in business, man, I didn't really know exactly what I wanted to do. So, being that I cut grass anyway, started out cutting grass, man, and uh, ended up pretty good at it. And end up buying me some lawnmower equipment, which I still have. Uh, had me about 24 yards, man. Did real well in that in that uh, lawn service. But the thing about an entre entrepreneur, keep this in mind. Our minds never stay on one thing. Our minds are always turning, man. It's like a uh, lock and a key. It just keeps turning until we unlock other things that we need to get into or other uh, areas of uh, finances we need to get into that's going to make us and our families uh, comfortable. It's not all about being rich, man. A lot of people watch these videos and all this stuff and see what all these folks got. Most of the stuff borrowed, especially you rappers. <laughs> stuff borrowed. And the majority of them can't even pay it back. They're under contract. So they have to work like slaves to pay it back. But yet, you know, they still want to live like this big ball of shot caller, you know? Me? Nah. I'm a simple guy. My wife's a simple lady. And uh, that's how we keep it. You know, like I tell anybody, I'm not rich by no means necessary. But I'm comfy. <laughs> And that's what you want to be, man. You want to be comfy. You know, you don't necessarily want to be rich. I mean, it'd be nice to be rich. But if you give a person who ain't never had money or a whole bunch of money, they'll blow right through it. Because if you look at a lot of people who's won a lottery, what they do? They run right through it because they've never had it. So therefore, they don't know what to do with it. That's why I say, man, learn to control a little money before you can get a hold to big money. So when you get to big money, you trying to find ways to invest that big money, big money to make more big money. You see, common sense. But back to the business wise, man, I'm going through the national uh, park here right now. I got a client, you can see the sun in my face, a client that stays almost directly into the park. Nice view, man, beautiful home. You know, he's been my customer for uh, probably about four years now. Oh, hot ride, you know. Rodney from State Farm. <laughs> but I'm telling you, man, you guys uh, start your business. Don't be scared. Uh, and just because you have a business license, that don't mean you own a business. I tried to explain this to one guy. He said, well, I, I got a business license. I said, but have you, uh, have you uh, got your uh, ID number? You know, your uh, business ID number? He was like, what's that? Like myself, I'm a sole proprietor. What that means is I'm the only one who runs my business. I'm the only worker. That's it, me, Munoz, Matos. So that makes me a sole proprietor. See, I don't have any uh, any uh, employees or anything like that. Uh, and then I have to go a different route and uh, introduce my business. So the easiest way is go 
uh, sole proprietor. And once you start to grow, you can get you some employees or whatever, if that's what you want. Uh, me, myself, I would love to have employees, man, but the work ethic has got to come along with it because I'm a beast when it comes to work ethic. So if they don't have the work ethic, you know, I'm not going to play around. I'm going to go on because it took me a, a, a while and my main goals are to satisfy my customers. Uh, some customers can't be satisfied, but the majority of the time, 99.9% .9 of the time, my customers are well 